We are here with David Erickson from Tunheim Partners. You're going to be on a panel at the Hubert H. Humphrey Centennial Reunion happening at the Minneapolis City Hall this Friday, May 27th. The panel you're participating in is Civil Rights, Civic Discourse, and Civic Responsibility in a High-Tech World. So here's my question. Do online technologies contribute to civic discourse? Uh, I think they do and they don't. Uh, it depends on... Um on the venue, or uh, you take a look at um, comments, for instance, a common way that people talk about uh, public policy or politics, um, and they typically talk about it at newspapers, um, on newspaper websites. When you take a look at those, uh, you often find just a disastrous discourse going on. Uh, there's racism, there's uh, homophobia, there's attack, personal attacks on one another for their beliefs, so it's just, it's not contributing to civic discourse at all. And then you take a look at Facebook, and um, there's a lot of public policy and political discussions occurring on Facebook that are not like that at all, they're the, the exact opposite. And the one different, differenting, differentiation is um, accountability is on the newspaper sites, often you have an anonymity, and so people feel they can say whatever they like and get away with it. Uh, on Facebook, you've got, you don't have anonymity, or every, every comment you have on Facebook is tied to your personal account, uh, which you own, which is publicly uh, available, which people can see what you've said online and attach it to you, so you take your own personal responsibility over your comments. So I think, um, Part of it is built into the nature of the technology itself and how the technology is set up, whether that uh, encourages civic discourse or not. Uh, the other part is just personal responsibility and, and, uh, and taking a responsibility for your own words and, uh, and how you behave online. But if, if, you've, um, if you've got anonymity, you're more likely to, uh, to uh, not follow the better angel of your being. Great. And how can people attend the event? Uh, you can register. You have to register for the event uh, at HumphreyCentennial.org. Thank you. Thanks.